Okay. Again, Zoe? My goodness. Well, did he find a serum? I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. Wish you could have warned me. <laughs> Sorry about that. What about the serum? I haven't found any. But I did find out we need to make one. A D-series head and an arm. This can't be right. A head? I think I have that around here somewhere. You do? I don't know about the arm, though. Have you searched the whole house? No, not yet. I still need to check the second floor here. All right. Check it out. Meet me at the trailer if you find it. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to. An old piano. Someone's been here. October 11th. My ears have been ringing all day and I haven't been able to sleep since the child showed up. Like Zoe says, there's something strange about the child and the woman she brought with her. October 15th. I'm seeing things, hearing things, can't stop feeling nauseous. I went to see the doctor in town and he gave me an x-ray. What's happening to me? October 23rd. The child gave me a present. October something, something, <clears throat> excuse me. I put the present in the secret room right at the back of the second floor, where nobody will find it. That arm is a sign of the child's trust. That arm will lead us to happiness. And anyone who corrupts that happiness, I won't allow them to live. That sounds dark. Oh my. Why did I do that? My goodness. Sick and tired of that. Looks like I'm going to have to find another lantern. Darn it. My goodness. Yeah, special, quote unquote. She dug herself an underground cave or something. Chem fluid. I don't think I need that. But at least I found a shortcut to back here. Okay, I need to get rid of that. Okay, don't need the. A second thought, maybe I can. Waste the coins for here. There we go. Don't need this. 
I don't think I need this either. Another treasure photo. Okay, what else do I need? Okay, nothing. Seems like a botanic garden in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even more burner fuel. I think I'm well prepared by now. And I have <clears throat> 15 shotgun shells. Let's see. 229 points of burner fuel. And 22 pieces of ammo. Gonna have to try to take her down as well. All the while trying to gain what I need. Okay, no, that is sounding disgusting.
some more burner fuel. Oh, thank goodness. Time to face the flamethrower! There you are. Uh, hold still so I can hit you. As I said, that does not sound good. That does not sound good. That's how she keeps doing it. As I said, that sounds really, really, really disgusting. I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! 
Darn it, I'm out of ammo. Gonna need to try to find more. Ew. I'm now weaponless. Gonna have to rely on my blade of on my knife if I have to. Not what I was expecting, but <laughs> I'll take it. Just thank goodness that fight is over. If only there is still more stuff that I need. Okay, where am I supposed to... Ah, here we go. Some more shotgun shells. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I got the lantern. I pretty much wasted every ounce of ammo that I can find. My goodness. Right now, Um... Hello? Oh, great, nothing. But at least I'll finally be free of this place. And then I'll never have to come here ever again. Never again. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Nothing but notes. It's basically a haunted house type thing. Hmm. Evelyn. Nothing but little shoes. A boat coming apart. A teddy bear. Uh, ew. 
Well, that just basically ruined Winnie the Pooh for me. Oh my goodness, it's covered in mold. Whoa. Something's wrong with her. And yet more floors to cover. Oh no. Stay away. Why? I'm guessing that was Evelyn. What's this? Bed, doorway, little house. Looks like a big clue. What on earth is this? It's like a shrine. Well, one D-series arm coming up. What the? Wait, get back here. It's a little girl. I'm guessing that's Evelyn. These writings weren't here before. My goodness. Oh, great. Post traumatic stress disorder. Okay, I need to get out of here. Like, this place is crawling with the molded and bugs. Oh no! Heal. Great. I'm all out of... I'm all out of first aid med. Ah, oh, jeez. Just thank goodness all that has come and done. Really? This again? Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. Are we really gonna be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. I'll be waiting for you in the trailer. Alright. I just want to leave this place and never come back, like I said. Well... 
I guess I can use this for a little shortcut. Ugh. At least I can use this for a little shortcut. Finally, I'm at the trailer. Had enough of you. What the? Now where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need the head, and you've got it. And this is gonna help me and me, right? Hey, buddy. I'm Lucas. Like I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She and Mia are here with me. And they're keeping each other company. Just let them both go. What do you need them for? Nah, uh, uh That's family business, Ethan. And not your concern, understand? <clears throat> now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little, uh... Activity I put together just for you. What activity? Oh, 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 I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. First step I need you to take, <laughs> partner, is for you to take a peek inside the fridge in the trailer there. Fuck you. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. You want to have fun, don't you? Now, look. In the fridge. Of course. Oh my goodness, the deputy's head. And it almost mutated. My goodness. The pig is waiting for you in the dissection room. Don't tell me. I have to go back. There's another antique coin. But at least I can increase my health. Your max health increase indefinitely. <laughs> I messed that up, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop right here because my legs are getting tired.